Welcome back. Every, it, every, today's show is all about breakfast. So, you know, if you're bored with the same old breakfast recipes, we are going to change things up. I'm in the kitchen with two guys from a relatively new restaurant in the Green Bay area called The Creamery. It's a coffee house. They also do gourmet breakfasts and they're starting to do lunches now. Uh, Patrick is the owner. Nathan is going to cook. So we'll kind of talk and cook at the same time. So first thing I think we'll do um, is we'll get Nathan um, starting to cook. What are we making, Patrick? We're making a palm fritz carne, which is a hash brown diced up with a meat sauce over the top. Mm, so if you are a meat and potatoes kind of person, you're going to love this. So Nathan's just taking a couple of potatoes. Don't even need to peel them, right, Nathan? Just no. uh, slice them up. Right? These Yukon Golds. Okay, Yukon Golds is, is the potato of choice here. And you're just going to dice those up a little bit? I'm going to actually kind of try to turn them into shoestrings. Okay, so more like julienne them a little bit. Yeah, for the And part. fresh potatoes, were those pre-cooked at all? Oh, no, I always use fresh. Always Every dish, fresh. Even, even the hash browns at work. Oh wow, fresh ass brown. So let's talk a little bit about the menu while Nathan starts cutting that up. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at some of the fun um, menu items. Uh, red velvet pancakes. Yeah, one of our, our best sellers. Yeah, it's very good. We do a, a cream sauce over the top Ooh. with some hazelnuts. It's really good. Unbelievable. Bread pudding French toast. <laughs> it's definitely a twist. It's got uh, a lot of people's favorites and both sides of it put together. It's a unique twist on it as well. A Putnesca omelet. What's that all about? <laughs> Well, it's it's actually a quite funny story on where the where it originates from the the word Putnesca, and I'll let you do a little research on that. But uh, it's actually of like the many and the and the to everyone kind of enjoy it. It's different. It, look it up. It, it's very aromatic. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So lots Absolutely. of great stuff. Not your boring yeah. omelet. And of course, they've no. got a lot of the the you know regular breakfast items: uh, pancakes, blueberry, raspberry, chocolate chip. Um, eggs the way you like it and you're known for your coffee so um, Nathan by the way is just putting the, the shoestring potatoes into a skillet with a little bit of oil or, or you can just spray the pan non-stick pan so we're gonna fry those up like we would hash browns you need to crank it up or turn all it down all the way all the way so you're on high right now just all takes right. a minute or so yeah. Um, so yeah tell us about your coffee Patrick yeah we use uh, a couple of different brands uh, some of our more popular are Intelligentsia and uh, Terra Verde which is a, a local roaster out of Chilton but they're all fair trade beans from Honduras and you know just about any Singapore any place that you can imagine that can make any kind of coffee beans and roast them we get them um, What's unique about our coffee is we have what's called a pour over style where we actually are literally making you a perfect cup of coffee. We weigh out the beans, we grind them fresh, and we do a, a pour over so it actually malts down and then we, we wait and it steeps and then we pour the water in to finish up your cup of coffee and it is literally amazing. Oh, it sounds delicious. And of course you do lattes and, and cappuccino, espresso and that type of thing too? Yep, correct. And anything that we do regarding Pretty much anything in our restaurant we do from scratch, uh, fresh, local, hardly anything frozen if possible. Uh, like our hot chocolate, we make our own chocolate sauce, we make our own vanilla, we do bakery, cupcakes, even weddings, we make them all from scratch. Yeah. All right, Nathan, I'm checking in on you. It looks like you've got some sausage yep. going on in the, in the skillet over there. We've got some bacon and, and um, is this prosciutto? prosciutto. Yum. Yes. So this is... Uh, no eggs in this one. This is all about potatoes and the meat. Meat and potatoes. And, ooh, that sounds delicious. And it's got a wonderful cream sauce. So when do we add the, the bacon and the prosciutto? Prosciutto now. Okay. Looks fantastic. And Patrick, I um, tell everybody where you're located. You say it's a, I've heard and it's a wonderful atmosphere and now you're going to be doing some outside seating when the weather gets nicer. Yeah, that's correct. We're located right actually behind Blue Restaurant off of uh, GV and Dickinson. Uh, it's called Old School Square, 2200 Dickinson Road. There's a, a community of buildings and we're snuggled right in there. We are going to have some outside seating, which will be in our garden. Uh, obviously when the weather comes around and we can get to uh, moving more on that, but it will be outside seating, probably about six, eight tables, so you'll be able to have breakfast in the garden. Hopefully we'll be able to pick your ingredients right for your meal and go we'll cook it for Ooh, you. Oh, how nice. Different. Right All right, so a little more olive oil. Just a touch of oil. Yep, so we've got our prosciutto, our bacon, and our sausage cooking up. Our potatoes are frying, um, and I'm going to kind of rush you along just a little bit, Nathan. Right. So I see heavy cream. Yep, that goes next. And it goes right in with the meat. Mm -hmm. We'll heat that. Oh, does that smell good? This is gonna jumpstart your morning for sure. Stick to your ribs kind of food. And then Parmesan cheese goes in last, huh? Yeah, it just kind of finishes the cream, bring it together. Ooh. It reduces for a little bit. 
Maybe potatoes. So let, you'll let that reduce a little bit at home, but we'll just, uh, about a half a cup of it? Uh, as much as you'd like. Okay, you tell me. Right there. Uh, right there, okay. Now this is a, a potato and meat dish, but you also do one I saw in here that's um, potatoes anna with potatoes, parmesan, baby spinach. Uh, so, you know, without the meat, but the same type of potato dish. That's correct, mm -hmm. yes. And I've been told by quite a few of our guests that you can pretty much put this meat sauce on anything. So oh, I bet, it's I bet. Very good. Unbelievable. So here's our fries. Thank you, ma'am. Is that bowl gonna work for you? Oh, sure. Okay. Pardon? Uh huh. Always on the menu, is this Patrick? Yes, that's correct. Okay. It's one of our signatures. And then here goes the Sorry. cream sauce with the bacon, the prosciutto. Anne's all excited. She's saying <laughs> yum. Total yum. Wow. That looks absolutely delicious. A little Parmesan cheese over the top. Yep. Thanks, guys. You're going to stick around. What are we making next time? Scrambled lump crab, one of my personal favorites on the menu. Ooh, uh, lump crab meat, uh, breakfast sandwich with hollandaise over the top. And more breakfast ideas still to come. Plus, are you dreaming of a vacation that you never forget? We're going to uh, tell you a really neat way to go coming up.